Vindication! Hi guys, so this is just a quick hyperfixation station video, which is a series I made so I can do quick gap sessions like this one. An interview with Missy just dropped on Reverse and I want to discuss it quickly because woohoo, ain't vindication nice and sweet. If you don't know who Missy is, I don't know why you even clicked this video, this is a bit crazy, but she was in the Netflix documentary, Popstar Academy Cat's Eye. She was the training of head and development. I'm not sure what her role in Cat's Eye is right now. She's probably still head of something in Cat's Eye right now. But um, yeah, so the title is clickbait, okay? That's not what Missy said. Once again, the title is clickbait. Well, sorry, kind of. What she said was that the attendance for T&D rehearsals was not mandatory. I repeat, attendance for T&D rehearsals was not mandatory. And please remember that when Dream Academy, the survival show had actually started, Manon did not miss the rehearsals except for when she had COVID. I still see some absolute mongrels going around commenting that Manon missed every rehearsal ever. Like, I just know if I were to shake these people, their skull would echo. Anyways, I was having a conversation with my friend, right? And he said something that hit me. And it was that the editing of the doc made up imaginary rules that allowed people to attack Manon for no reason. And whoo, ain't that the f***ing truth? Because once again, T and D rehearsals was not mandatory. So what I can infer from this is that the drama was nonsense and based on actually nothing, which is why it was easy for the girls to be friendly with Manon once they removed the stick from their asses. But to be honest, I'm really not surprised at all. This is just typical Netflix reality TV drama shit. It was already clear that the editing dragged the tension with the girls as there was no other real drama in that dead ass documentary except for possibly the NDA breakage and Loki when Lexi left saying this is psychotic she said i've got to get out of here you bitches is weird i will always love rate and respect lexi for that she ate that so bad look to me it was always so bait that the whole drama the whole tension was giving a mountain out of a molehill and the tension was only exacerbated by the competitive environment but some people want to be so quick to hate and jump on the pretty brown girls so of course there were people showing more empathy to the other girls and getting mad at anyone showing empathy towards my not people were calling me so biased as if that means i can't think logically and well yes thank god i was actually so biased because it allowed me to see the situation for what it was bollocks my stance on the situation has always been i don't care that manon didn't show up sometimes because shit was hard because shit was hard <laughs> like I, again i do not care that manon didn't show up because it was hard if you're someone that's hating on her for this you're actually weird because imagine hating on someone for not wanting to ruin her mind and body like you actually need to get checked out nurse nurse they're out again nurse nurse i also understood the girls frustrations but i absolutely disliked their actions and this is what people were not getting people were saying oh you need to have empathy you just need to understand the other side i don't need to do shit okay i don't need to do nothing but watch the ting and give my reaction and move on anyways let me read the article excerpt for you guys and i'll leave the full article link below if you want to read it all this is the thing yeah missy p talks filming a documentary tnd and cat's eye if we just scroll down the question is with such an intense practice regime 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 the trainees in the documentary sometimes faced considerable pressure was it difficult for such a culturally diverse group of trainees to fully embrace the t and d system missy responds t and d earned the trainees trust by being present for them constantly day in and day out at all hours we were committed to providing whatever they needed to stay focused on their goals whether that meant offering physical or mental health support or giving them time away from the studio our efforts were met with trust and dedication from the group of young women cast for this project our goal was to rapidly help every trainee reach their Full potential. It was important for the teaching staff to provide constructive feedback in a way that motivated rather than discouraged. They gen. <laughs> I feel like I'm being just like a robot. They gen. They gen. <laughs> Sorry. They genuinely believed in the TND program and trusted the process. As a result. Oh. As a. Oh. I fumbled it. As a result, they reaped the benefits with notable improvements in their skill sets. The trainees fostered an environment of respect, hard work and discipline because they understood that this dedication was the key to earning a spot in the global girl group. Many trainees were so determined to improve that they would dedicate their limited free time to practicing on their own. Attendant was <laughs> Attendance wasn't mandatory at the end of each day. <laughs> it was up to the trainees to show up, put in the work and take ownership of their growth. This self- <laughs> This self-motivation became a defining factor in their development and success. So already you can tell that um, she loved it when people would dedicate their limited free time to practicing on their own, which is why she clearly had such a problem with Manon. Even though attendance wasn't mandatory, clearly favoured people that, um, you know, did this and didn't do the this part. But anyways, it just doesn't make sense, right? Like, so what was the problem then? Something is not clicking. The math is not mapping. Exactly, because the whole shit is fake. It's all fake. Maybe not fake fake as in like they were acting, like they gave a script and they were pushed to do stuff. Maybe not fake like that, but fake as in the producers latched on to the one thing that could make drama and spawn the f 
fuck out of it so they could have the tension build up the breaking point and then the resolution and honestly the fact attendance wasn't mandatory clearly was expected it's just another messy thing that this process put the girls through like actually imagine this yeah thinking it's calm to come and go to rehearsal whenever you're at your best and that you're physically and mentally well enough to do so and then boom all of a sudden heading to and is talking shit behind your back and the girls are giving you dirty looks and the therapist is nowhere to be seen on camera at least because i will say that in the article it does talk a lot about how important it was keeping the girls mentally healthy and so i do hope that there were sessions that we did not see especially because we should not see those sessions and the sessions we did see we should have seen anyway and again it was just to build the drama like bitch netflix so messy but you know what at the end of the day i really have to say thank you to missy she ate that one thing <laughs> Yeah, you ain't that bitch now, you ain't that little one thing. Thank you, Missy, so much for vindicating me. Vindication! Because the amount of people who tried so hard to make me give a shit that man of missed rehearsals is showing more empathy to the other girls who have a problem with her not attending. Loho banter. Because it wasn't mandatory. That's why Manon wasn't reprimanded for not showing up. I'm just so glad this is finally over. Isn't it funny this came out what like how long has it been since Popstar Academy and this is dropping where she's saying, oh, by the way, guys, you've all been hating on Manon for no reason because shit wasn't actually mandatory and shit was truly not that deep. It was never that deep. And honestly, the people hating on Manon for it makes it deeper than it needs to be. If you're still a loser from Loserdom hating on Manon because she didn't show up to rehearsals, let me read it again. Yeah. Attendance was not mandatory. Bit and to that obviously anti-black YouTuber that attempted to use Missy's words to say Manon was uncaring and it would be hard to teach her otherwise. Let me read this to you, you bum. Unlike many of the other members, Manon didn't come from a background in competitive sports or the art. She did not know shit. But anyways, which made the TND process especially challenging for her. I'm so glad, Missy, that you can understand that in this interview. Maybe all the times you understood it in the Netflix doc was just simply edited out. Anyways, even in difficult moments, she never gave up. Wow, Missy. Manon has consistently worked to enhance her skill set and professionalism. Since becoming a group member, she has truly turned a corner. Period. She's now deeply committed to being a supportive teammate and a caring sister to her bandmates. This still feels like shade, but you know what, Missy? Once again, thank you. And you know what, guys? She actually wrote such nice stuff about the other girls that I want to read it out also. And actually, sorry, the question to why she even said all this was, you spent a long time witnessing the progress that the Cat's Eye members made through the TND process. How do you feel each of the members of the group has grown? Missy says, as emergent artists, they are continuously pushing themselves to prove their talent and build a deep connection with the fan base. The work ethic and discipline instilled in them through the program have become critical to their success. First of all, what I'm most proud of in Daniela is her growing self-awareness. While she entered the program with a strong skill set, Daniela has worked diligently to refine her abilities, evolving her into an elite dancer, singer and performer, period. And she has, and she's done that. Her maturity and her capability for self-reflection are truly admirable. Honestly, Missy, this is so bloody cute of you. While Lara's confidence made a strong impact on the program, it was her positivity that truly inspired the trainees around her. Exceptionally talented vocalist, Lara had to work extra hard to quickly improve her dance skills, especially since she joined the program later than others. And do you know what? That's something that's not mentioned a lot, that Lara was, she joined basically as a main vocal. She might have had a bit of training in dance, but very limited. Th yeah, that was something that wasn't talked about a lot. And Lara's one of the best dancers. Despite the long hours and intense workload, Lara has been a driving force in keeping the Cat's Eye members motivated. So cute. And it, it, oh my God, once you tap into their dream charms, guys, I have, I have a video coming up. Once you tap into their dream charms and stuff, oh my God, like it makes so much sense. The limit key is literally, this is, this is literally the limit key. Limitless key, limitless key, yeah. And then the man and one, which we already read. So we'll go to Megan. When we first met Megan, she was truly reserved and lacked the energy of a stand-up performer. However, during the TND program, Megan truly came into her own, gradually building her confidence. Bless her. And it's so crazy because again, Megan, oh my god. Like when you watch Megan, you're just like you're in awe because it's like has her raw, like, is it magnetism? Like, she's just so, her stage presence, like, everything about her is amazing. Having worked in the industry since she was young, Megan brought a strong sense of professionalism and dedication, which helped her continuously improve. Mm-hmm. Watching her blossom into a captivating performer and a valuable teammate for Cat's Eye has been a beautiful journey. Cute. Sophia has remarkable leadership abilities. She's a natural born leader, but like any leader, she needed time to refine her style and abilities. Sophia worked tirelessly to improve, dedicating time to self-practice to ensure her growth. She has become a pillar of strength for being cat's eye. Known for her calm, level-headed approach in challenging situations and her dedication to inclusivity. Sophia is committed, responsible and dependable. Qualities that make her the ideal leader for a group of young women chasing their dreams.
Lastly, it's inspiring to see how at such a young age, Yoon Che left her home country to chase her dreams in a place where she didn't even know the language exactly. This is why it, it kills me every single time because every time I see Yoon Che's face, this is exactly what I'm imagining, like this young girl who left her home to chase her dreams and like, oh my God. If I'm proud of anyone in this Mano and Yoon Che and Sophia, three are the three that left their home countries to chase their dreams. And so like, even though I rate the other girls, the other Americans, you know, they still chase their dreams. But at such a young age to leave what you need no, like I just, oh, it's unimaginable to me. Yoon Che has worked tirelessly to learn English and immerse herself in American culture because she's determined to connect with fans on a deeper level, bless her. And she's getting so well and she's gonna be fluent by next year. Despite being the youngest member, she carries herself with immense professionalism and so true because if you see Machinates and other groups, they be crazy. They be crazy. <laughs> and Yute is always so like, she can be crazy, but she's so professional. And I'm continuously impressed by how well she's adapted to the rigorous demands of being an artist. So that was all the cute things Missy had to say about the girls. Now I'm reading them all. Um, my nose was interesting. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Let me not nitpick, but anyways, um, <laughs> what did you think about the revelation that TND rehearsals were actually not mandatory and therefore the drama was actually kind of nonsense? Let me know below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. You've been so out of touch, 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 touch. TND was not mandatory, re, re. So what was all that hatred for, 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 for? I really don't know. People are so sad. They are so sad that they don't get hugs at home. <laughs>